I'm Jerome Weeks. How has Dallas' oldest continually operating professional dance company survived this long? The Dallas Black Dance Theater was founded in 1976, and it features works by such choreographers as Alvin Ailey, Donald McHale, and David Parsons. The modern dance troupe has performed at the Kennedy Center, the Lincoln Center, and has received grants from the National Endowment for the Arts. Ann Williams is the founder and artistic director of the Dallas Black Dance Theater. Ann, welcome to Think. Thank you. To be blunt, dance companies have had a very hard time in North Texas. Your company is uh, entering its 35th year this year. That's correct. What's your secret? Well, um, hard work <laughs> and a wonderful staff, great board, community support, and uh, first and foremost, great dancers. We have an opportunity to audition dancers each year, and uh, we've been successful in getting great dancers and uh, being able to get a good repertoire and produce. Do you have any theories as to why it's been so hard uh, here as opposed to other parts of the country? Well, I think uh, because uh, here there are, you know, other entities. Dallas is uh, a cultural city, and so the support is divided. Mm -hmm. That's one of the reasons, and that's, that's good too, you know, but uh, they struggle, we struggle, and uh, but we all work together. I think the collaborations that are going on now uh, are coming, you know, about, and that's, that's making a difference. But uh, we're just coming into our own. So 35, that's our time. You've, uh, the company's been uh, performing for more than three decades now, but it wasn't until 2008 that it had a permanent home for its studios and offices. How has being in the Arts District affected the company? It's, it's been a great uh, support to where, what we do, uh, Jerome, and where we are now. Having your own home, you know, it's, it's like stability. You know, before that we thought we were part of the homeless, you know. We were here and we were there, and uh, once we got a home uh, and being in the Arts District, the Performing uh, Arts Center, the AT&T Performing Arts Center, and that complex and using the Wiley Center as I have a home, uh, the D. and Charles Wiley Theater, it, it all has come together. And for our academy, that uh, the home now houses the academy where we have over 300 students, so we are producing future dancers and serving the community very well. So it has really been a great success for us. The Wiley was, was touted when it opened for its flexibility, its technology, everything. Has, has that changed things for you? No, it has not. Mm -hmm. And uh, for the past two seasons, uh, we have just really been doing the, the d contemporary, you know, forms. We are looking for the 35th anniversary to bring in some innovative uh, performances and maybe to do some aerial things. So look for a little surprises. It's also must be convenient. It's just across the street. More Very or less. convenient. Our costumers say, "Well, we can just put things on the costume, and just on the racks, and just roll them down the street." You know, the dancers can walk from my building to theirs to the theater, and it is convenient. Very convenient. What is the kind of interaction you have with with Booker T. Washington, the arts magnet? Uh, we've had a long relationship. We, in fact, uh, we both were found it the same year, you know, Booker T. Washington is also going to be celebrating its anniversary next year. And so our dancers have always, we've always had dancers to come from Booker T. They come over for classes with Dell Spike Dance Theater in the afternoon. And uh, of course, the professional workshops that we mm -hmm. give in the summer, we offer scholarships to them and the relationship has been very well. We go over and do a residency there, work with the teachers, and it's just been a wonderful opportunity for us. In your repertory over the years, you've uh, performed specifically African dances, like the the ostrich by Dufour. Yes, yes. And you've performed expressly African American dances using jazz and spirituals. Mm -hmm. But you've also done work by white choreographers. That's true. So you have this this range. What what leads you to select a particular work, saying that that's for us? Uh, I think I got that from a mentor of mine, Alvin Ailey, mm -hmm. some time ago. Uh, he had an opportunity to visit with us when he was in Dallas, came out and taught a class, one of his dancers uh, taught a class, and we sat and we talked about the company, 
and uh, so I t sort of took a range from his uh, style and, and from his company, and that's what you generally do. One of the things that he told me, I do remember, and I'll always uh, remember this, is that he said, you know, you could never use a, a master choreographer, can never be a master choreographer unless you start young. And so he said to always go and get the young choreographers and fuel them in, you know, with the master choreographers. So I've done that, and as I travel around in New York, I see the different choreographers, and color has no uh, bearing, mm -hmm. you know, to Dallas Black mm -hmm. Dance Theater because our audience is a, a very mixed audience, mm -hmm. and also the company. It's a uh, we say Dallas Black Dance Theater, but we are a multi-ethnic mm -hmm. company where we have uh, dancers mm -hmm. of other color. And so it's just natural that we do that. And one of the main things is that the dancers now that we get, they're trained, you know, not in all black schools. You know, mm -hmm. they come from, from uh, white schools as mm -hmm. well as other, you know, schools. Mm -hmm. And so the repertoire and their training, so all of that in my head just makes for a better company. Are there choreographers out there that you really still dream to work with? There are, yes. I'd love to have Twyla Tharp. I'd love to have something from her. And uh, kind of like down the punchline, I think we might, you know, get something like that. And uh, But I'm looking at choreographers like that, and uh, that would be a dream come true for Dallas Black Dance here. Well, thank you very much, and good luck with your spring celebration and your coming 35th year. Thank you so much for having us, and thanks for KRA for their support. To see more about the Dallas Black Dance Theater, go to artandseek.org. Chris? Thanks, Jerome. To access our free podcast, you can go to the Think page of KERA's website, KERA.org slash think. And we'd like to know your thoughts on the show as well. You can email us at think at KERA.org. My name is Chris Boyd. Thanks for being with us and have a great week. To learn more, go to KERA.org slash think. Think is made possible in part by... Dell Services. Dell Services develops and delivers a comprehensive suite of IT and application services, business process solutions, and consulting services designed to help customers succeed. For more information, you can visit dell.com slash services. By Southwest Securities, a nationally recognized regional brokerage firm that's been meeting the needs of Southwest investors for more than 30 years. Southwest Securities is a member of the New York Stock Exchange and SIPC by the Executive Education Center at the University of Texas at Dallas, providing degree and non-degree programs to help corporate professionals and executives stay ahead. On the web at som.utdallas.edu slash executive. And by the valued support of KERA members. Thank you. Support for Art and Seek comes from Donna Wilhelm, the Margaret A. Cargill Foundation, the Robert Ted Enloe Family Advised Fund, and KERA members. Visit artandseek.org.